Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Today Jesus provides a seemingly paradoxical statement that we are called to reflect on. Unless we die, we will not have life. How can this be? How can I die and yet still live? Christ does not reveal to us anything that we cannot do, and yet what he is proposing seems impossible. Must I hate my life? Is it not the greatest gift I have been given? Today's gospel reveals that suffering is not without purpose. The meaning of suffering is to give suffering meaning. Through our suffering, we participate in the sacrifice of Christ. Christ loves us so much that he allowed us to partake in his own act of salvation, his passion and death on Calvary. In each of our hearts is a throne. For most, upon that throne sits the self, and they live their life in comfort, selfishness, and self-reliance. But Christ tells us today that the self cannot rule our hearts. The self must die. Until we remove our selfish desires from the throne of our hearts, we cannot have life within us. It is when we get off the throne and climb onto the wood of the cross that we begin to have life. We must put Jesus on the throne and put our